Here's a fun fact. My two favorite movies are The Matrix and Inception, and I've watched both of them at least 100 times. Now, for some of you, that might seem absolutely crazy because even if you do enjoy a movie that much, you might watch it two, three, maybe five times at best. But there's something significant about watching, reading, or listening to content again and again and again. And I'm gonna share with you what that is that may change the way that you consume content forever. I'm Thomas Edwards, creator and author of The One Up Effect, helping high-performing professionals experience freedom and fulfillment through purpose, play, passion, and performance. Now, there were times where I would have The Matrix or Inception playing in the background in my home in a loop. It would just be playing all day, every day. When I think about how I consume content and how I can repeatedly consume content, there's something significant about it. Who I was when I first watched The Matrix is very different than who I am or who I was when I watched The Matrix last week. And because of that, what I'm looking for, what I'm hearing, how I'm actually consuming the content is very different. When I watch my daughter, I notice how she consumes content, whether it's through toys or books. And she often reads a lot of the same books and plays with the same toys repeatedly. And I always wondered, won't she ever get bored with it? Well, the thing is, sometimes there's a little bit of space in between when she's reading or playing with those toys and she's having a completely different experience. Certain books she reads all the time is because over time she notices certain details. She notices the cadence. She notices more of what she is learning through each time she reads the book. And when she's able to return to a particular toy, she now has a different way of playing with that toy, a different way of experiencing that toy because she is a different person. And I thought to myself, well, why can't we do the same thing as it pertains to how we consume content? You might be going into a situation looking to consume and download content because you're looking for something specific to help you with where you are right now. If that content helps you or if any piece of that content helps you leave, live a better life, it's gonna put you in a different position. You are going to be a different person. And oftentimes we take content, we download it and we throw it away thinking that it's a one-time use situation. When the truth is, content has lifetime value because who you are when you consume the content is very different than who you were when you consumed it previously. Meaning, the things that you notice, the things that you learn and see and hear will be very different than what you were listening and hearing and watching previously. New ideas, concepts, details that you didn't notice are gonna be there now that weren't there before. And those details are gonna help you achieve more than what you originally were capable of previously. When we look for something, we often look at it from a means to an end. I'm here to extract this information because I wanna to get to a milestone. When in reality, the content that you're downloading and consuming for personal growth is only a foundation that can continue to support and help you as you grow and as you change as a person. So whether you listen to it two times or a hundred times or more than that, you will always learn and experience something new and different that can support you in your life. So go ahead, you know, watch that movie, read that content, listen to that program, that audiobook as many times as you want because chances are every time you listen to it, you read it or watch it, you're going to have a completely different experience because you are a completely different person. But that's what I think. Comment below. I want to hear what you have to say. How many times do you consume your favorite piece of content? And is it true? Do you actually experience something new or different every time you consume it? Are you the type that is one and done? So you listen to one thing and then you're done. You don't desire to go back and listen to it again. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell, get notified when we put out videos, which happen almost every single day. And if you found this video interesting or inspiring, please share with someone you know who might find it interesting or inspiring too. I'd love to hear what they have to say and get them in on the conversation. And if you wanna learn the exact process and science behind leveling up all areas of your health, wealth, self, and romance without sacrificing personal happiness or professional ambition, you can go to thomasedwardsjr.com. Once again, 
again, this is Thomas Edwards inviting you to make life a game that you can win and have fun playing. Until next time, I'll see you around.